सो हेलो गाइस होप यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड वेलकम टू अनदर गाइड इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑन योर लीन सिम कॉप चैनल एंड इन दिस टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द रोल्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियर ओके एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आवर फोर्थ वीडियो ऑन इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग लेक्चर्स आई होप यू हैव बीन वाचिंग आवर फर्स्ट थ्री वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग and it is going to be very fascinating to know about what roles really industrial engineers does have so when we talk about the roles more than one may occur at one time okay so it's not fixed that industrial engineers may go with the single role or title they may have multiple roles at the same time for example advisor analyst reviewer in evaluating the effectiveness of a new factory which was built a year ago okay so you can see here industrial engineer has three or more roles together so he performs the effectiveness driving facility in you know uh, any of the factory using industrial engineering principles now let us look at the first role which industrial engineers might get and that is advisor or consultant available to others for interpretation of the data review etc is nothing but you know the role for this advisor consultant for industrial engineers the second role when we talk about it is going to be an advocate or activist okay the purpose of this role is to promote actively a process or a approach okay so they're going to promote a process they're going to you know take a take a care and help it get established throughout the time in a factory that is going to be an advocate or activist when we talk about the third role for a industrial engineer that is analyst if we talk about analyst what he is going to do you know it is, so a separate a world so these people would be separating a whole into parts and examine them to explore for insight and characters we have looked about the three roles of industrial engineer and now let us understand about the fourth role and that is going to be a boundary spanner what does a boundary spanner does they bridge the information gap between industrial engineering and other users okay so this is a role for boundary spanner if you are industrial engineer talking about the fifth role of industrial engineer that can be motivator what they does is they provide stimulus and skill availability to a group or an individual you know talking about the sixth role of industrial engineer they are going to be a decision maker what their work is going to be they are going to select a preference from among many alternatives for topic of concern so the selection of the best option is uh, what their job is going to be talking about the next role and the seventh role they are going to be a designer or planner okay so talking about the designer or planner they produce these solutions specifications talking about the eighth role they are going to be expert what does the expert do is they provide a high level of knowledge skills and experience on specific topics okay so you can be an expert when you are industrial engineer you can be coordinator and integrator you can be innovator and inventor so this is the 10th role of industrial engineer which you can be what the purpose of this role is to seek you know seek to produce a creative or advanced technological solutions for factory problems or your facility talking about the 11th role in industrial engineering that is measured what they does is they obtain the data and facts about the existing conditions topping about the 12th role and that is for the project manager what they do is they operate supervise and evaluate the projects okay talking about the 13th role of industrial engineering that can, you can become a trainer educator what they does is they basically in the skills and the knowledge of industrial engineering you can be a trainer and educator and give training just like we are doing out in here so this is one of the role of industrial engineering which we are currently doing then talking about the 14th rule of industrial engineering that is data gathering that you can do you can become a data gatherer or you can become a negotiator and that is our last rule for industrial uh, engineer so these were 15 rules of industrial engineering okay industrial engineer which we saw and what each role has to do that is also we have been watching about okay if you are new to the channel do not forget to subscribe to channel hit a like for this video share it with your friends 
for content related to industrial engineering, simulation, process simulation, and artificial intelligence and machine learning. So this is our you know fourth lecture of industrial engineering. In the next lecture, we will be understanding about applications of industrial engineering and production management concepts in detail. So stay tuned on LinSimCorp channel. Let us meet another interesting video. Till then, keep watching LinSimCorp. Bye bye.